Welcome back, Cheapers. I'm your host, Amy, and today I have cha -cha, Chief Cheapo Chris. Hello, everybody. So today we're coming from Shimokitazawa, which is a veritable cheapo's paradise. We have thrift stores, we have good coffee, record stores, and antiques. It's all happening in Shimokitazawa. So what are we going to start with, Amy? We're going to start with shopping today. Oh boy, I love shopping. So I'm going to show Chris around some of my favorite shops. First up, we're here at Shimokitazawa Garage. Let's get going. A neighborhood on the west side of Tokyo, Shimokitazawa is just a five minute train ride from Shibuya on the Inokashida line or 10 minutes from Shinjuku on the Odakyu line. Known for its relaxed, bohemian vibes, Shimokitazawa's narrow streets are a great place to take a stroll and hit up some of Tokyo's best thrift stores and eateries. There's even a few vegan spots, which we'll cover a little later, but first we've got to do what Shimokitazawa is most famous for, vintage and thrift shopping. With such a high concentration of thrift stores, it's easy to lose yourself amongst the racks of clothing. A quick tip from us cheapos, not all of the stores are super affordable, so let's give you a rundown of some of our favorites. Shimokitazawa's Toyo Garage Department is a good place to start with over 20 vendors in a single space. You can find a lot of secondhand clothing for under 1,000 yen and some handmade accessories. New York Joe Exchange and Chicago are two other popular spots for used clothing. The prices aren't the cheapest you can find, but they're reasonable and there's a good range for both men and women. One of our favorites for affordability, Stick Out sells all items for just 800 yen. So if you don't mind digging through the racks, you can find some cheap gems here. There are so many small independent stores around Shimokitazawa. So if you have the time, we recommend taking a stroll through the pedestrian-friendly streets and see what catches your eye. Secondhand clothing isn't the only thing you can shop for in Shimokitazawa. There's also a number of great antique and record stores. Although at this one called Antique Life Gin, something other than antiques caught my eye. Guys, look how cute this is, a Shiba Inu. I have to get it. <laughs> Chris was not so easily distracted by cute dogs though and can give you a rundown on what else you might find. So this little shop has a plethora of uh, interesting trinkets and Japanese memorabilia. Here we have some kokeshi. They are sort of old school Japanese toys. They're uh, basically these little um, dolls which are kind of milled from a, a piece of wood and um, yeah, they're very cute, possibly a good souvenir. And yeah, as you'll see, this shop has some Japanese crockery, some nice little prints, as well as a Shiba Inu bag, which uh, Amy just bought. For records, Flash Disc Ranch is a great spot to hit up. With its unique entrance, this is one of the most Shimokitazawa-like stores you will find. A key feature is the many boxes filled with 300 yen records, while those in the regular crates start from around 1,000 yen. Oh, after a long day of vintage shopping, nothing is better than some coffee, right? Exactly, and Shimokitazawa will not disappoint. We've got streamer, there's sidewalk coffee, there's uh, yup for your cold brew, and here we are in Ballon Dasai, however that's pronounced. <laughs> We're not quite sure, it's French. <laughs> it's, it's a French name and it's uh, latte and art. And uh, as you can see from my macchiato here, there's uh, some rather, I don't know, controversial latte art. Controversial? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a face. Like, normally latte art's like a beautiful swan or a heart, but this is just a smiley face. So. But it's so cute. It is cute. <laughs> controversial latte art aside, you won't find it hard to get good coffee and food in Shimokitazawa. And that includes vegan food. We've come to our first vegan spot, Universal Bakes Nikome. Let's go inside and take a look. With a wide range of vegan and gluten-free sweets, this spot isn't the cheapest bakery you'll find, but it gets the cheapo stamp for deliciousness. All right, I just got my uh, vegan dessert. Chan, 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 chan. 
you can't see it, but <laughs> it's French toast apple pie. Oh my God, it looks so good. Let's dig in. If you're looking for something savory, just underneath Universal Bakes Nikome is a completely plant-based East Asian restaurant serving up a range of food from vegan dumplings to soy pudding. Closer to Shimokitazawa Station, two other options for vegan food include Superiority Burger, where you'll find a range of tasty vegan burgers and vegan gelato, and Kitade Tacos, with both meat and plant-based taco options. Our last recommendation for food isn't vegan, but if you're hankering for something Japanese in between all that shopping, then Yuzuki is the place to go. This Teishoku restaurant serves up large, tasty meals for lunch and dinner. All right, if you're looking for a place to stay in Shimokitazawa, Chris has got you completely covered here with Mustard Hotel, which has no mustard, but he'll let you know all about it. So the Mustard Hotel, while it doesn't provide mustard, it does provide value. It's pretty inexpensive. It's right in the heart of Shimokitazawa and every room has a record player. So rather than have a TV so you can binge watch your Netflix, you can uh, borrow records from their record selection in the lobby and listen to records. So interesting, quirky place. So uh, let's have a look. So in the end, uh, we went for Bill Evans and Stevie Wonder. So uh, here it is, here's the uh, record player. It's just a little uh, speaker built in. It's not exactly the highest of fidelity, but still it's a nice touch. So um, here we are. This is, uh, what is this? The Bill Evans album, which is uh, Fender Rhodes, Eddie Gomez on bass, and Marty Morell on drums. Yeah, sometimes it sounds a bit, uh, a bit quirky. We've shown you around the more bohemian, well-known side of Shimokitazawa, but there's also some new things going on that are worth a visit to. All right, we've come to bonus track now, which is a new development in Shimokitazawa, and Chief Chipo Chris here is all over it, so he's going to tell you a bit more about it. So, funnily enough, this used to be railway tracks, and uh, now the Odaku line is underground. So all this space, it's been reclaimed, and you've got uh, some nice vegan tacos, this little sort of wild park bit, another park bit and bonus track over there, which we're going to head to in a moment, which has a co-working space, a fermented food shop and some interesting new eateries. So uh, should we take a look? Yeah, it sounds really good. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We stopped in for lunch at the thought-provoking Why Juice store, which sells, you guessed it, juice, as well as some healthy lunchbox options. The bonus track area is a great spot if you're looking for some outdoor dining. You can grab food from any of the eateries in the area and then enjoy it in the open dining space. Beyond eating, there's also a range of boutique stores to check out, from fermented drinks to bookshops to home goods. Beyond shopping and eating, Shimokitazawa is also home to two exciting annual festivals, the Tengu Festival in late January and Shimokitazawa's Awa Odori in mid-August, a traditional summertime festival where choreographed dancers take to the streets. If you want to know more about these or anything mentioned so far, check out our article on the area and things to do. So, that was Shimokitazawa. Do uh, check out the website tokyochipo.com and subscribe for more uh, area guides with uh, some awkward dances and other strange moments. And don't forget to check out our Shimo Kitazawa nightlife video. And we'll see you guys next time, right? Yeah, see All you right. next time. Bye.